Well, so what I'm going to do now is I want to try and uh, help you guys at home to practice some uh, drumming, djembe drumming, even though we're not tribal people, uh, but it can be a lot of fun. Helps with uh, all kinds of situations in life, some kind of meditation, uh, relief of stress, many things, as you know. Um, helps to focus, endless things, you probably all know it. Um, there are basically th three main hits on the djembe, which is the bass, the tone, and the slap, and the combination. And I usually add also a muffled sound, which is just a measure like this to keep us in, in time and measure. And of course there are endless more sounds um, with your fingers. Endless things. Uh, use your creativity to do as you please. Just explore. You have to remember that the sound of the djembe is, is created by the vibration of the drum. If you hit in the middle, it's a bass because the wave is very big, large wave. And when you hit it here, it's very high. There are small waves and all in between is possible. Um, the way I play is basically I keep the, this going and then I decide which sound I want to create in order to create a nice pattern or a sentence or some kind of improvisation. This is a very good exercise just to do like this as, as long as possible, maybe five minutes. If you can, ten minutes, it's amazing. Two minutes, whatever you can, just, just practice this and then you can go to different sounds doing the same thing. do that with a slap without making the neighbors crazy <laughs> if it's possible and uh, the bass of course and all the combination of the things so I like to start with odd numbers like three five seven uh, that way I create a balance between my hands which is like basically a very basic rhythm. Oh, I'm giving basically basic exercises and then you can take it off from there by yourself. Um, I'll just show you what I mean by take it off what I do. That's a um, no real rhythm, it's just an improvisation, but of course it's a real rhythm because whatever we do is a real rhythm. Once we create some kind of pattern in the loop, it's a rhythm. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to belong to any culture, it can be your own. Uh, of course it can also belong to some kind of a culture. Um, <clears throat> play along with that. Uh, what else can I say? Yeah, I'll do something else now, which is just to show you how I combine these sounds, all four sounds.
Of course, it's also very important how you sit. You have to sit more very relaxed with your shoulders especially. Your hands have to sit relaxed on the drum. Your hands have to be in the center of the drum. And basically, to be loose. Don't be stiff, be loose, relaxed. The hit is a combination of force and flexibility. If you're too stiff, you won't have any sound. If you're too flexible, it's no sound. It's a combination. It's the hit. Is it strong enough to create a sound? Not too strong, not too soft, just right as you please. You can hit very loud or very soft. Endless. The drumming is endless, endless, endless. You all have to decide what you like. So this is basically, um, this is like, a, I don't know, some kind of introduction. I never did this before. See how this goes, and maybe I'll make more specific lessons if uh, there is a demand, or just spread it out in the net. See how it goes. Uh, what else do I want to show you? Basic African rhythm is uh, basically six. For now, see how this goes. Enjoy the Corona vacation. Uh, let's see. Let's see how it goes. Yeah,